I've been able to do so many roles and to pick one that I love more than others seems like picking your favorite child and I know parents don't do that. Eugene Onegin is one that I've always aspired to since I first saw it when I was 13 years old in Boston. Onegin is based on one of the most famous poems in the Russian language and used to be memorized in the Soviet system by the entire population of school children. So it's their Shakespeare. Tatiana is a romantic, she loves to read. She wants to believe these romance stories and she's living inside her mind. And so when she sees Onegin, she's enthralled and he's mysterious and he's just out of a novel for her. So that's the only first time she really tries to make herself known to someone else. Otherwise, she's been shy her whole life. Onegin dismisses her and tells her never to bother him again. I really like the way that she's almost unrecognizable from Act 2 to Act 3, because in Act 3, she's this mature woman who's really, really beautiful. And when she was younger, she was a bit more of an ugly duckling. It's a little bit platonic the way Onegin reacts to that. But I think we're supposed to assume that he's grown up a lot and he's really realized the error of his ways because he did know how intelligent she was. He just wasn't interested at all. It's known for its beautiful pas de deux and especially the dream pas de deux. We call it the mirror pas de deux when she imagines that Onegin has come and professed his love. I think Kranko makes in incredible pas de deux, incredible lifts, and just it really almost sings out. It's wordless, but it has um, an exaltation that's really, for me, it gave me chills the first time I saw it. I, I just love it.